Alright. Hello and welcome to Loverboy 821 Plays. Um specifically, welcome to Loverboy 821 Plays. Um Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. So, uh, this is the first stream in this playthrough. You may recall we did have a crowd control of Mario RPG going, um, but I wasn't feeling great shortly after the most recent part of that, so I was like putting it off. And then, unrelatedly, my computer had a uh, little oopsie, so I had to uh, uh, reset it to factory settings. So I've lost all of uh, what I had set up in regards to, like, the crowd control and the save of the game and a bunch of different stuff. And, uh, I didn't feel like playing through what I had already played through in Super Mario RPG. I just didn't feel like playing it. And then I was like, what do I want to do? Because I want to do a video. And then I was like, I just want to play Pokemon. And I was like, I play Pokemon a lot. I don't know if that's, like, an acceptable uh, thing at this point to just keep doing, you know? Like, my biggest videos... It, you know, none of my videos are big, but my biggest videos have been, like, my full plays of, like, the, uh, like, the Fable games and of, um, uh, Jade Empire and, like, the, the boss rush video where I just do all the bosses. I did all, like, I clipped it so I did all the bosses from, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Fable, like, that probably has the most views, other than, uh, the Halo Reach clip of me and Aces going flying, but I don't really count that one, because it's a one-minute video, there's just a clip <laughs> that I th was like, look at this funny thing that happened in a video game. Anyway, um, so that's why I'm doing a Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke, because I wanted to play Pokemon. And I decided to film it. Also, I feel like Pokemon games are, like, the perfect playthrough length for, like, either Twitch streams or YouTube videos. Because, like, they're long enough to, like, do a series, but they're not so long that I'm, like, agonizing over completing them. Which is the main reason why I haven't f finished a Ligaia 2 stream or a Dragon Age Origin stream, despite both of those being my two favorite games. I've always wanted to do, a, like, a stream series of them, but, like... They're both, like, you know, 30 to 60 hours if you're doing side shit, which, since they're my favorite games, I usually am. Anywho, uh, before we get started, um, this is a Nuzlocke. And it's a randomized Nuzlocke, so first, basics of a Nuzlocke is, if a Pokemon faints, it is in fact dead. Um, if all of your Pokemon die, the game is over. I do it where if I lose all my Pokemon, but I have Pokemon in the box, I'm allowed to grab them and keep going. Um. Sorry, I noticed that, uh, Matt Bragg is playing Pokemon Stadium, and I went, do I want to stream or do I want to watch Matt Bragg play Pokemon Stadium? But, uh, that is neither here nor there. Um. Anyway, that's, that's the basic, uh, you can only catch one Pokemon per route. You have to catch the first Pokemon you run into on a route. You have to, uh, name them for increased emotional attachment. Basic Nuzlocke stuff. I've done Nuzlocke on my channel before. If you're watching a channel this small for a Nuzlocke, you're probably into Nuzlocke enough you understand the basics. The, uh, the biggest thing you probably want to know about the rules are what specific rules I'm playing with. I'm playing with Shiny Claws, 
So if I run into a shiny, I'm allowed to catch it. Uh, there's I haven't altered the shiny odds or anything, though, so it's not gonna happen this run, probably. But, you know, it's there. It's moral support. <laughs> um, also, I'm gonna switch it so it's on set mode, so I can't do that thing where I change Pokemon, like, once a new Pokemon's coming in. And I'm gonna say uh, no items during battle. Like, I can't use healing items or X items. I am allowed to, like, give my Pokemon items or, like, berries or whatever. But, like, I can't just, like, use a potion. With the exception of I can use up to four healing items for a gym match or an Elite Four battle. Um... The reason I say four is because I don't want to have to look up how many items each individual person has, but I know the max that I know of is four in this game. Now, uh, now the randomized part. It is randomized is in all the Pokemon are randomized. Um, completely. Both the ones I find, the ones I fight, the ones that, uh, you know, the, the other people have. Which ones I find are randomized. I also randomize their learn sets and I randomize their abilities. I did not randomize their types or evolutions or anything like that because I wanted enough of there to be Pokemon for me to be able to like somewhat assess the situation, you know? Like, oh, that Pokemon's stronger or faster or slower or whatever. Or it's this type. Didn't want someone to throw out a dragon type Pikachu and then I'm just like, I don't know what to do to this. Field items are randomized. Um, TMs are all randomized, and I have full TM compatibility, so any Pokemon can learn any TM or HM or move tutor move. Uh, also, all of the trainer levels have been increased by 50%, meaning that this, this ends when I beat Cynthia the first time, Cynthia being the champion in this region, and also the best champion in Pokemon, don't fucking at me. I'm sure no one would at me, everyone knows she's the best. But uh, her ace Pokemon is going to be level 93. Whatever Pokemon ends up taking the role of her Garchomp will be level 93. That's the only math I did, is I took 62 and added plus 50% to get 93. Uh, that also means that, like, if for whatever reason, like, the stream where I beat them is whatever and we want to come back to this, if I beat, got the national decks and then went and fought her again, all of her Pokemon would be level 100. I'm pretty sure all of the Elite Fours, all of their Pokemon would be level 100. Anyway. That's everything I can think of right now. I usually am not very good about explaining the beginning stuff of a uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke. So that's why I had to stand there while I was trying to remember what the fuck I was doing. Because usually I'm like, oh, you guys know what a Nuzlocke is, and I just start going. And then by the time I uh, really think about it, I'm already, like, progressed. I don't think I got a potion in the PC. Here's a Wii. Chadwick left in a hurry. Go get him. Okay. Oh yeah, Clover Boy, don't go into tall grass. Pokemon will fucking murder you. Kiss 
Chad was going to say something really rude to me if he ever watches this. <laughs> See, Stan? Yeah. Normally, I name my rival Eric after my brother because I consider my brother to be my Pokemon rival. We usually go both get opposite Pokemon games and then, like, you know, battle as is, you know, fraternal love. But, uh, I was thinking about my friends today, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I, I just, you know, they're, ha they're ha I'm not gonna get into it, but I just, you know, I was, I was sending, sending love, you know, and, uh, so I decided to name my rival Chadwick after my best friend. I don't consider him my Pokemon rival normally. He's very casual at Pokemon, I'll say. He's much better than me at other video ga most video games, but Pokemon specifically. We're not about equal talent. But I love him so much. Uh, yes, I love Pokemon. That's why I'm playing it at fucking one in the morning. Also, for anyone who's on my stream, I don't know how much longer they're streaming, but Krog and Cordy show is currently streaming CSGO. If rather than these uh, cute baby games I'm playing, uh, CSGO shooters is more your jam. Not only are they playing CSGO, they also opened a pizza shop called Purple Monster Pizza. So go there. Let's see what we got. We got the Darkness Pokemon, Sableye. The Happiness Pokemon, <laughs> Blissey. Blissey is in my top 10 favorite Pokemon, as many people here would know. Yep, we're gonna go with Blissey. Uh, unfortunately, I have just condemned Chadwick to having a spoink for this entire playthrough. I am so sorry, Chadwick. Th th those were not... Assuming I got any kind of good move, you're fucked. Uh, the dying part of the Nuzlocke doesn't start until I get Pokeballs. Oh, Blissey has Snow Warning. How useful. No warning, Blissey. Great. Let's use Stone and a Diamond. Man, Spoink is... Chadwick Spoink is the fucking man. Strongest Spoink in the West. Running shoes. 
Cubes. So, just to, depending on how well this goes, I actually did download ROMs for each of the four uh, main releases for Pokemon on the DS, being Platinum, Heart Gold, Pokemon White, and then Pokemon Black, too. I've never actually beaten Pokemon White, and I've never played the uh, sequel games for Gen 5. So, I'll do all four of them, just because it's easiest to do on the uh, DS emulator. But, um... Sorry about that. It's easiest to do on the DS emulator. So I'm like, if this goes well, I'll do each of the games. But it would be my first time playing either of the Gen 5 games, really. I mean, I played the Gen 5 game uh, up to the 6th Gym Leader once. My thing is, I wasn't super into a lot of the Gen 5 Pokemon designs. Like, at least that I could get a team that I was, like, into towards the beginning of the game. All the cool ones were, like... Uh, towards the end of the game. But if I was playing randomized, there would be all the Pokemon everywhere, just regularly. So, like, it wouldn't really be a factor. It would all be about the story. And as I understand it, the story is really good. On the one hand, I could fetch a Lucario here. On the other hand, that Lucario will beat the shit out of my Blissey. We need, uh, we need some better moves for Bliss. What we need is Blissey to not have snowboarding. This is what we really need, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. need is a Flareon with Wonder Guard or huge power. Flareon's base attack's already 130. Flareon with huge power would one-shot anything. Basically have a 260 base attack. That would actually make them viable, finally. What are we gonna call- we'll call Blissey Brawny. I'm still thinking about all my friendos. We were having a bad day today. And I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm bad. Anyway, that's why Bra Brawny will be my starter. I don't know if Brawny's been in any of my videos. She might not have been. Brawny does her own Twitch, though. I believe it's Bloom Wiz. Is her Twitch? I'm just out here plugging Twitch channels today. Let's welcome to my Twitch channel. Now, if you'd like to fuck off, here are some Twitch channels for you to watch instead of me. Um, I don't think Brawny is actually uh, currently live or anything. She's probably asleep because it's like five in the morning for her. She's from. From European land. This is a fucking Poke Center, and this right here, this is a Poke Mart. And now you need to go talk to your mama. I assume she's like 10.
here's the thing. I know, like, red was 10. Right? And then t he was... Gold was 10, because red was two years later, and red was 12, and the older trainer. I don't know if that's the case for every Pokemon game. All I know is the, um... The character model for the 5th gen better not be 10. Uh, the... Just based on what they're wearing. Like, I mean... If you look at, like, the sprite is the same size as the adult, so, like, they all look the same to me in that regard. They're, like, all little cartoon cute people. But for whatever reason, I'm just like, I better not be a 10 year old wearing clothes like that. Ugh. That was uncharacteristically judgmental of me. I apologize. Alright, give me those fucking Pokeballs. Ooh, a Jolteon. Chimchar with Meditate and Close Combat. That thing is gonna be a. That thing is a unit, you baby cop. Let me tell you. Oh, I don't think I... Okay, one second. Oh, there we go. Options. Sound battle scene on. Battle style set. Let's get some more Pokeballs, just in case, you know, I fuck up. I need, considering I'm not using them in battle, other than for uh, gym leaders and elite four members. Alright, let's go. And our first encounter is gonna be... First level 100 is actually a Lucario. I thought Lucario was a legendary Pokemon, so I was like, this is my one legendary I didn't have. Because I didn't think I would ever get find Dialga, I didn't realize. Because it was my first Pokemon game, I didn't realize you got to just, you know, get them in the story or whatever. Use a Premier Ball. supposed to stay in that, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry, did I admit, did, did it just say Lucario has ice body?
This is all some fucking bullshit, chat. I'm gonna just start throwing the balls, it's pissing me off. A video game. This is a torture device. Wake? How many turns is that? How many turns? My thank you, Brony. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go talk to the real Brony. A little pissed off. Be like, Brony, what the fuck? Dragon Breath, and then... Pokeballs. Also, my tummy hurts, because I ate food before this, and I don't think it sit well with me. I think I may have to go to the body, and that may take a while. So we may have a break <laughs> in this recording. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so stressful. <laughs> if you know, you know. Still remembering the controls, sorry. Ice body. Pokemon regains health. <laughs> Fucking hailstorm. <laughs> Alrighty then. Two of them, obviously, are weirdly really good for doubles. And here is a Shroomish. As our next, uh, friendo. A Shadow Ball. Yo. <laughs> we 
give Shumish a name? Yes. His name will be Philip. Philip. Don't know why. I looked at him and immediately knew that his name would be Philip. Oh, you had an item? Yellow scarf. Huh. It's a yellow... It's a contest item. Very good. Very good. Alright, so, uh, I will be back in like, uh, 20 minutes to a half hour. We are, we are not done with the stream yet, but I'm going to turn the stream off. Uh, those of you who want to, uh, rejoin the stream in like 20, 30 minutes, uh, obviously I'd be glad to have you. See you all in a bit. I have to, uh, I have to go die. 